Welcome back to Going Ballistic, everybody. We are back on the range for you guys. We got something we've been wanting to do for quite a while. So what we're gonna do for you all today is we have our Bushmaster BA-50, Sammy Head, and we got some of the coolest rounds the 50 Cal makes. No, we don't have a slap round because it's gonna go through some serious bricks here. So we got these bricks here, and what we're gonna do with the first three rounds is we're gonna set up three bricks in a row, shoot and see how well they do. Now, this blue tip, you guys know what the 50 cal blue tip is. This pink tip is basically the same thing. These were special made rounds for us. And uh, we're gonna try them on a harder surface. We've tried them in different videos and not quite a hard enough surface and they didn't make the huge flash that they're supposed to, but we're gonna try them. Then we got the Soviet API round. We are gonna see how many bricks those could go through, hopefully three. And then if you stick around, we are going to set this wall up and show you why hiding behind a brick wall is not a good idea for our favorite round, the Ralphus round. Justin's called it the party popper. And that's what we got for you. We're gonna see if it'll break through, which I completely think it will because it's a tungsten core versus steel blah 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 and take out our zombie hiding on the other side of this wall so this is what we got for you guys today also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and sign up on our instagram page because we have a lot of different stuff going on on the instagram page that you won't see here so shut up chris let's get going All right, so first round is gonna be the pink tip, or as Chris, or Chris's daughter has dubbed it, the sparkle farts round. So this should be pretty good, I'd say. All right, see what kind of damage sparkle farts can do. Well, now my hair is in the way. There we go. Now I can see destruction. Wow, <laughs> there was a lot of sparkles. That was beautiful. Beautiful sparkle farts around there. Thank you, Leah, for naming that round. Uh, there's a little piece of, of the jacket. Um, it was neat how the sparks, it came in, busted through this first one, obviously. Looks like right there, right above where the brick has that little bridge part it, or that little bridge through it, and um, took out two bricks. Did not take out the third one. Kind of cool how this metal thing is just uh, balancing up on top of that. But yeah, doesn't even look like any marks on this one. So two bricks. Looks like a brick and a half. This one just busted because of the concussion and the brick falling apart. But let's move on to the next one and uh, see how the Smurf round works. Let's do it. All right, now let's see how the Smurf tip round stacks up compared to the uh, sparkle farts. Is it gonna be more or less carnage? Either way, it's a great day.
Yeah. Man, I blew snot out of my nose. Clear. Okay, that looked like pretty much the same. I'm glad we got the high-speed camera again. That's a Kronos 1.4. It's their older one, and that's about 6,000 frames a second, which for our channel, we can afford. That's a $4,000 camera when we bought it. I don't know what it is now, but it's still a good camera. 6,000 frames a second. He hit right under the edge of this first brick, but it still did about the same damage as the sparkle farts around. Nothing here on the third. So now we're gonna move on um, to the black and red tip, the API. Let's see if that can take out three bricks. Here we go. All right, it's my turn to shoot the 50. I'm gonna send this black and red tip down range and hopefully this one can take out three of those bricks because this one has a mile or this one has a steel core, not mild steel core. So let's check it out. Almost forgot. <laughs> I know, Justin, get your crap together, Chris. Rookies. All right, we're gonna send her on home. All right, fire in the hole. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh. Clear, let's check it out. All right, we finally got all three bricks. If you guys, oh, here's a piece of the jacket, I think. Ooh, yeah, that's it. That's it, Edwin, it's hot. Always giving that guy a hard time. He is the king of picking up hot rounds. I don't know why. Oh, we love that guy. Anyways, busted through all three and you can see, and you've already seen, like on the high speed, it came in down here, but the actual um, center core shot out just at this little side, missed our steel plate, and went off to Never Never Land down there. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I wish we could have found that steel core if it would have hit here, but we didn't. Okay, now the round everybody's been waiting for, the Ralphus round. Again, we're just gonna do one layer of bricks. We know it's gonna go through that was a hardened steel core, busted all three. The Ralphus round has a tungsten core. It's meant to punch through and have a secondary burst. Hopefully we can catch that on the camera. I don't know with all the dust, but who cares? We're gonna try it anyways. Let's do it. All right, now it's time for my favorite, the elusive party popper, otherwise known as the Ralphus. So there's a zombie hiding behind that there wall. I'm fixing to take him out. It's got a hit in the general vicinity and I think we can peel his muffin cap back blue. Bye bye, Mr. Guy. Bye bye, Mr. Guy. Man, I totally hit, heard it hit that plate. I felt like something hit my arm. Where's my blast shield? That was fantastic. That was so cool because that thing, it worked perfectly. It actually blew through the brick wall and the head and you see a spark on the steel plate where the tungsten core actually blew through and hit right here. 
right there and then into here it's just just molted metal right there that's awesome our zombie blood yeah totally sucked his brains right out of the back of his head but this will be cool we could actually uh probably use this one again justin let's see if we can do yeah look at right there is where he hit right in the ear hole baby <laughs> look at that bam what a good shot so if you think you can hide behind a brick wall and somebody has a ralph this round it ain't gonna happen not gonna happen it ain't gonna go good for you ain't gonna go good at all it's gonna go bad now i know some of you basement engineers are gonna say well the brick wall wasn't solid. It wasn't filled with concrete. If you guys watch this video here, we shot a concrete barrier with the Russian API rounds and it was blowing holes through, what was it, eight inches of solid cement. So that is still a good test. The only thing it did is the secondary explosion didn't probably go off in his head. It went off on the plate or thereafter. So that was fantastic. I still liked it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys can find, if anybody knows where we can find any more of these, these type heads, they explode wonderfully. Really like these. So thank you guys for watching. Again, thank you to our patrons and all you who stick around. Thank you all for watching and we will be back. Now clean up this mess, Justin. God dang it. Freaking hard to find good work. Urs. <laughs>